Hey guys, Wilbo here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best possible point gun in Zetsubu no Shima for Black Ops 3 Zombies. So, I get a lot of questions asking Wilbo what is the best point holder you can have to get the maximum amount of points in the shortest amount of time. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best possible point holder. I've had a lot of experience with this weapon in Zetsubu no Shima, and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to drop a like on it. Shows you guys really support my videos. Subscribe to the channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. And let's get into it. So points. Points are key to go and buy things on the map, such as perks, doors, and extra things you want to go and do just to get through a Zombies game. So Pretty much, you're going to need points for the majority of the game. If it's to get perks or if it's to open doors to get out of sick situation, you're pretty much going to need perks. Now, a lot of people like to use certain types of guns, and personally, my favorite gun to use on Zetsubu no Shima is the HG-40 for points. I say this because this weapon is a complete beast, even on pack a punch and when it is actually pack a punch, it's still pretty good. Four points. Now I say this on Zetsubu no Shima and not in just Black Ops 3 in general, as this is the only map that has the HG40 Razorback, uh, Marshall 16 and the MX Grand. Those are DLC weapons. If you go and actually buy this map, you will get those weapons automatically and they actually are in the box, so we can't actually put weapon kits on these guns at this time. So this is like the new Black Ops 3 variation of it. And um, some reasons why I really do enjoy this gun in general, just for points, and it actually is a really good weapon to have as a secondary. For high rounds, it's really good because with weapons that give you a lot of points, um, you know, you do go down in zombies, and it depends on how much you go down is how much money you're going to spend to get all your perks back. So by having the HD40, first off, this weapon's going to get you about 10 grand, in about a round. In the gameplay, I'm using the Unpack a Punch version. It's about around 20 plus, and I do get about 10,000 points just by using this one weapon throughout the round. But a really good thing I do enjoy about this weapon a lot is the controlled recoil on it. Now, with point hoarders, you kind of want to aim for either the head or the chest. With some guns, they have a lot of recoil. You can reduce that with weapon kits, but there are some guns that don't have weapon kits in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now with the HD40, it's pretty much got an inbuilt stock on it, which means you're pretty much going to be getting the maximum amount of points way quicker because you're not going to be having all that crazy recoil when you actually shoot this weapon. You can get easy headshots and not be hesitated at the same time. So it's really good. I like to use this weapon a lot, um, especially if I'm going for headshots and I'm doing a train. I like to train the zombies around the whole map of Zetsubu no Shima as this is a massive map and it's worth going around the map just to train up some zombies, get a few points. It's really good. Something else that is really good with this weapon is the damage, even unpacked a punch it's very surprising of what it can do at about 20 plus the pack a punch version of the hg40 is called the afterburner 2.0 now it's called the 2.0 because it's the mp40 remastered so when you actually pack a punch this weapon this weapon is very effective now you probably won't be using this weapon for high rounds but if you do you're gonna need some good double pack a punch abilities on it and also with some double pack a punch abilities it also gives you the maximum amount of points so one i always suggest for any weapon you're pack a punching in black ops 3 zombies of course i suggest deadwire because deadwire works the quickest it works the most effective and it recently has just been buffed over the past months and it's amazing. So in the gameplay that I'm going to be showing you, I'm running around with the HG40 Pack-a-Punch into the Afterburner 2.0 and I do have Deadwire on it and it's seriously really overpowered with this. I mean Deadwire can overpower anything but I know that Deadwire gets you a lot of points. So if you're wanting to maximize your points with this weapon, what I suggest is Pack-a-Punching it when you probably have a clip left in your gun because it's really not worth pack-a-punching it when you just got it out of the box. At least use it for a while. Get a little bit of points. And then pack-a-punch it and you're going to get like crazy damage, crazy points. Very fast, very quick, and it's very effective. This is a gun I always like to bring out on just simple rounds. You know, going around, killing some zombies, 
getting a few points. If you want to go and open doors, if you want to go and grab perks, and if you want to go and hit the box and you actually don't want to use this weapon anymore because it does get not as effective at the higher rounds, you're going to need this weapon to go and get a few points. But uh, something that I could say which is probably better than this weapon if you're looking for war weapons, I do suggest the VMP. And I always take the VMP out on my high rounds journey. I only choose the VMP because it is a war weapon, but it does have a lot of recoil. So if you're looking for a weapon that doesn't have a lot of recoil, the HD 40 pack bunch is the gun for you. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked the tips I kind of gave you on how you could make this weapon as good as possible as it can get you the most amount of points, be sure to drop a like on it. It shows you guys really support my videos. If you want to see more videos like this, showcasing a few of the weapons and telling you which is the most overpowered weapon, which is the worst weapon, any good stuff like that, be sure to comment some weapons down in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think is the best and worst weapon. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.